Hi, this is Ian Wong. You guys can call me Philip, the team leader of Yo-Yo Friends, and today we're going to review the SF Plastic. Now, SF is a really cool company. I, like I said before, their most of their yo-yos are smack in the middle of you know, fun, chill, and also very good at performance. And this is no exception. Uh, so the SF Plastic is a very cheap. It's only around twenty dollars, I think. Uh, it's meant for you know. Advanced players and then beginners players, uh, that's what they're described. And uh, yeah, it's also a polycarbonate yo-yo, which is very, very cool. And um, so yeah, let's have a first look on this. So this yo-yo, you can see, first thing first, obviously it's made of polycarbonate. So it's very, very thick, very high tolerance. Uh, and uh, the first thing you see, this yo-yo is pretty white, actually. And the diameter is pretty big, so that is pretty common for polycarbonate yo-yo uh, because just like the wedge, you know, because uh, you don't have that much design room to play around with that high tolerance and the high thickness of the wall and you know the design. So polycarbonate yo-yos are definitely a lot bigger, and the bigger the diameter that also helps its stability because polycarbonate, it's the material itself. It's pretty light, it's not very dense, like the aluminum or titanium counter, uh, counterparts. So, uh, bigger diameter definitely helps on stability and overall feel and uh, the weight distribution on the rim. Okay, so that is the first look. The first thing we're gonna do is, of course, you know, the performance is a smooth smoothness test. And uh, yeah, this yo-yo actually is around seven to eight. Uh, out of 10 smooth and uh, you might think that is bad but that is actually very good for poly yo, yo most of the poly yo, -yo I've ever played are like around you know low fives or even you know, like three to five but this is definitely the smoothest uh, polycarbonate yo, -yo I've ever played uh, which is pretty nice because you know there's obviously gonna be a little bit vibe it's kind of hard to get you know pure poly yo, -yo uh, dead smooth but it is smooth enough you know you can do some of the uh, grinds and it does not affect play whatsoever. Uh, you know, just by strain film is that smooth. So yeah, that's very good uh, on the smoothest part. Next is speed. So I would say the speed of this video is around medium pace. It can actually go a little bit faster than medium pace if you want to. But you know, you will feel that like, you know, something about the poly is a little bit sluggish. You don't feel that much here because it feels kind of light actually, which is pretty cool. But this video definitely can push around medium pace to even a little bit faster, which is very cool because most poly you, you will feel the sluggishness. And this is, a, uh, out of all the poly I've ever tried, uh, that eliminates that the most, which is very cool because it actually feels kind of nimble if you push it around a little bit and it does actually move. It, it does not hold you back that much, even uh, even me because I'm a speed player. It, it actually doesn't hold me back on speed at all uh, most of the time and that is something very cool and very, very interesting because I didn't know a poly you can achieve that. The next is power for poly oil. This is very powerful. Uh, I won't say this is a, this is as powerful as a wedge, but it, it's definitely powerful enough to, you know, for me, I can do like thirty plus seconds combo no problem. You know, prelim, I am fairly confident with like a stock bearing. I can do. I can go through entire prelim, prelim in two throws, and if I have like a probably ASK DS uh, that kind of bearing, ASK bearing, you know, the platinum ones. I can probably you know do a one minute prelim on this. Um, so the power is there. Uh, it's not gonna be like you know some of the higher and uh, higher performers, mono metal or like you know uh, bi metals. But the power is definitely there for you. Uh, no issues on power stability. It's 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 pretty stable. I would say um, it's got big diameter even though it has thick walls. It's staying on playing pretty nicely. Um, it, 
if you land this correctly, it will probably stay on plane. Um, it does shift its plane a little bit, but this wheel is very wide, it's very easy to adjust it back. And uh, if you be careful, I don't see that much instability. Uh, most of the model, you know, the weights are not purely on the rim sometimes because of the the thickness of the wall and the metal inserts, which adds center weight. But this wheel does pretty balance pretty well, so stability is still there. Fall video is very fun and just a very nice feeling to it. It's still got that signature polycarbonate feel, um, but it, it feels kind of premium polycarbonate. It doesn't have that cheap, you know, vibey, uh, normal polycarbonate feel to it. It feels actually pretty premium in the hand for polycarbonate oil. It, it, just, it just feels very nice. It's pretty flowy. Uh, there's a little bit of float there, but you know, it's still very nimble and I can't really believe they're achieving this with a poly design, which is very interesting indeed. And it's, overall the flow is very good. The oil does feel like around mid-weight, a little bit light if you push faster, which is always a good thing. And yeah, it's overall flow is pretty good. Okay, now the bind. Bind, right now I'm using a Kitty Fat because Kitty Normal on this yo-yo, I'm having trouble to bind. But uh, Kitty Fat for me is pretty good. I won't say it's the best, but if you go uh, on a Kitty XL or Kitty XXL, uh, you, will, you won't have any problem binding. Right now, Kitty Fat for me is um, acceptable for binds. So yeah, uh, I do recommend Kitty Fat or Kitty XL. Okay, so now the missing calculus. The first thing I'm gonna do is finger grind. No problem, a very wide, just a catchable zone here. Uh, the yo-yo is only 7 out of 10, uh, 7 to 8 out of 10 smooth, but you know, you still can do them. Something about this finish is very, very good. Um, I don't know what finish they did, but it's very smooth, it feels very premium, and you can grind as well as, you know, the metal yo-yo, like a Cadence CS, or the Recognition, uh, finger grinds them, like that. The finish is actually as slippery as that, and which is very good and very high quality feeling to it. Uh, next is thumb grinds. Thumb grind, you can do them, but uh, you have to tilt your yo-yo. There is no lip here. This is a very, this is just a curve. Now, I'm not a big fan of thumb grinding, but uh, if you do it vertically, it's kind of hard or not possible to thumb grind um, at all. But if you tilt your yo-yo this way towards your thumb, you can do a thumb grind like this. Ah, uh, like that. <laughs> So yeah, that's thumb grinds. Okay, so finger spin. Finger spin, there's no uh, particular design. It's almost flat. Uh, there's no cup or no uh, concave in the middle that locks in your finger. But this is all curved right here. So you will have an easy time to swirl around your finger. And also the finish is very smooth. So in theory, this thing is better, a little, even a little bit better than a flat cup. So, finger spin shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, no problem. You can almost lock it too, actually. But, uh, finger spin is pretty good. This thing also comes with a slim bearing. So, in order to switch to a slim bearing, first you open up the yo-yo. And then you take the the standard bearing out very easily. It just comes out. I don't even have to use a removal tool, which is pretty nice. Uh, so here's the slim bearing. You put it in, and now you screw the yo-yo back together again. Don't screw it too tight, but you know, pretty tight, but not too tight. And then you can see the gap. Now it's very low. And then, you know, now put your string back on and now it become a responsive yo-yo. Now, I haven't played responsive yo-yo for like years, so this will be pretty interesting for me. Um, so this is also meant for, you know, beginners, even though this yo-yo is capable of, you know, a, a player like me or you. Ouch. See, that's very responsive. So you, if you throw too hard, it's so responsive, it might pop back at you. So anyways. So yeah, it sleeps nicely. Uh, 
it's actually very responsive. With this is Katie Fat once again, very responsive. Um, yeah, even with a very weak throw, it still comes comes back to your hand, and that is pretty good. Uh, oh god. <laughs> So yeah, this is meant towards beginner. I don't think beginner can throw like as hard as I like usually do. That I throw so hard it pops back at me. Uh, you can do some you know old tricks like you know the the UFOs. That binds back perfectly. They really nailed the nailed the responsiveness of this uh, in sim bearing mode or responsive mode. So yeah, very very good you know for beginners. Uh, one thing I really want to say is, you know, most of the people when they think about a beginner yo-yo, they're thinking a yo-yo that is not that powerful and um, overall not too good for advanced levels. And I completely disagree with that. I think you don't need to have that, you know, hardship or learning curve for beginner yo-yo. Um, Basically, I think that, you know, a wider yo like this, something that pretty performance driven like this can definitely help that, you know, the beginner who just picked up yo to go over that, you know, learning curve, the hurdle, and to get uh, well enough to move on to, you know, the unresponsive as fast as possible. That's what I think it's the best, uh, to take the training, off, or training wheel off as fast as possible so you can progress faster because my friend actually learned how to buy in you know I just straight up give them like unresponsive full on metal yo-yos and they just learn how to uh, buy in like you know like couple minutes but they're really good so probably like an uh, hour or something like for most people if you're good uh, if you're like really got into it but yeah overall this is very nice uh, little thing going on here it definitely is uh, responsive. So in order to remove this, it's actually harder. You can't really just use a removal tool. It's kind of hard because the bearing is so slim. So what you do is you need a pyre right here. You need to uh, find the groove, lock it in, and then wiggle it out. So, okay, here we go. Now it's out. Make sure you use a pyre. And also you have this little thing so you can pull out or else uh, you're gonna have a very hard time to pull the slim bearing out so I do recommend unless you have a, a pyre on your hand I don't recommend you to switch around that often uh, most most of the case I suggest that if you're a beginner uh, once you get into the gist of binding with a slim bearing go switch to this and then never turn back but if you if you want to turn back just have a pyre ready it's pretty easy to remove once you get the gist of it. And yeah, no problem putting it back together. So yeah, I really recommend this player, uh, I really recommend this video to all kinds of players from beginner to you know pro. At this price, I don't really see any drawbacks um, having this yo-yo. It, it feels very premium as a polycarbonate yo-yo and uh, it's very smooth for polycarbonate yo-yo and it plays very well. Uh, it flows well, dimension is nice, um, stability is up there too, um, speed, doesn't even lack speed. You know, I can use this yo-yo for my contest and I won't, you know, complain about it. And, you know, this thing even do horizontal is pretty good. Um, you know, it lacks a little bit power and stability there, but I can power through my generic horizontal combos. Not the long ones, but this is no problem. I do highly recommend to use at least a Kitty Fat. Uh, I think Kitty XL is the best for this yo-yo, uh, or any strings that is equivalent to Kitty XL in thickness, because the binds are not that great if you're using Kitty normal or around that thickness level. Anyways, other than that, this yo-yo is very good. Um, so yeah, so one of the thing is. Another good yo-yo at that price range is obviously the Wedge and I'm going to do a quick little comparison with these two. I've been playing the Wedge for a month. This is my personal Wedge. Got it from yo, -Yo Sam and obviously like this one looks I think pretty cool. They have cooler colorways I guess. But uh, this one just feels more premium. It's so much more smoother on the, in the, on the hand. It grinds better. It just feels very premium on the hand. 
uh, very nice finish, I would say. And this one actually vibes pretty badly uh, right out of the box. It's like a low 3 out of 10 in uh, vibe department. It's borderline unacceptable for me uh, who has OCD, but this one is pretty very smooth. Now, power and stability wise, I will go with the poly wedge. I mean, look at it, it's very bricky. Um, it, it, this, especially stability, this one has more. Power, uh, this one has slightly more. And, uh, but speed, flow, and overall feel on this, I definitely recommend the plastic. It's faster, it's more uh, control, not controllable, it's more just very nice, pleasant feeling, and it's definitely faster. And then you can do all your tricks without that, like, you know, poly, uh, polycarbonate sluggish uh, feeling sometimes, which this does have a little bit. Uh, horizontal wise, due to its shape, this actually feels better and I can control it better in horizontal. And uh, finger spin, obviously this one's better because you can lock it on the middle hub. Uh, but this can definitely finger spin too. So um, yeah, those are the trade-offs. I do really recommend this video over the wedge because it just feels a lot more premium. Uh, it's more catchable for me and I'm really more confident in doing my tricks on the plastic but if you want a yo-yo that is like really powerful and then uh have that you know even more signature polyester i mean not polyester polycarbonate feel and the more stability the wedge go, uh, the wedge might be for you but overall i think the plastic is a game changer it's really really good i don't see why you shouldn't get one so yeah that is my review on the sf plastic very good job i'm very very impressed so the next video i'm gonna do is it's gonna be the magpie next time so that's it that's all for today and see you guys next time